So as part of this mini series around inflation, capitalism, capitalist system, uh, inflation rates, as well as Bank of England and interest rates, this is another set of video that I'm, I'm uh, talking about. What What is the relationship between the inflation rate and interest rate? And how does the Bank of England actually manage that relationship? Well, the idea is the Bank of England is the independent bank of the country that sets how much capital, how much money is costing uh, to borrow. And they do that by increasing or decreasing the Bank of England base rate. Right now, in March 24, the Bank of England base rate, so that means how much commercial banks like HSBC, NatWest and stuff I have to pay to borrow that money and then lend on is 5.25. So that means when I go to a bank and I go to NatWest or HSBC, they'll probably charge me around six and a half, seven percent to borrow that money. If it's a personal loan, you're looking at 12, 13, 14 percent. If it's unsecured, it's even more expensive. So you've got the Bank of England setting the Bank of England base rate, which is the floor that then all lending will start from. The higher the floor, the higher the amount that the Bank of England sets the interest rates, the more expensive it is for people to borrow. And that's why pe people do it, uh, Bank of England do it. They reduce the amount of people who want to borrow at that level because then by doing that, they reduce the amount of money and uh, the amount of people chasing fewer goods. And by reducing the demand on fewer goods, you reduce then what's called the inflation rate. And the inflation rate is where you have 10 people chasing after one apple and the price of the apple starts to rise because there's too many people chasing that one item or that one asset. If you reduce the 10 to about three or two, the price of the apple doesn't rise as much. And that's the relationship between inflation and interest rates. So when you push inflation, uh, when, when inflation goes up and up and up and it gets out of control, which is which it was uh, in 2022, 23, uh, inflation was rampant around 10 to 15% the Bank of England had to increase the Bank of England base rate from 0 0.1 to now at 5.25. And the idea is by 5.25, people are saying, I'm not going to borrow, I'm not going to buy that car, I'm not going to uh, invest in another house, I'm not going to buy the next machinery because it's too expensive. And actually then what happens is the economy starts to uh, cool down and the inflation rate starts to drop because less people are buying. So less people are chasing those fewer goods and the prices of those fewer goods start to reduce or not go up as, as crazily as, as what it has been. And that's the relationship we have in March 2024. Uh, Bank of England base rate 5.25, inflation is now down to 3.5. When Bank of England base rate was at 0 0.1, inflation went up all the way up to about 12, 13%. So you can see there's a there's almost a, a symbiotic relationship between one going up and the other one going down. And that's why it's important when people talk about oh, inflation is going up or down, you know that there's going to be an impact, whichever way it goes, on interest rate. And why does that matter to you and I? Is because if you've got a home mortgage, your interest rate is going to go up if the product comes off its fixed rate. If you've got a buy-to-let investment, your interest that you pay will be re you know in, in line with what the Bank of England base rate is, which is what then charges the commercial banks and then the commercial bank charges us on top of that. So there is a massive correlation and it's important you understand the correlation between interest rate and inflation rate because those two together work uh, in, in tandem and the Bank of England's biggest mandate is to control inflation. And, and uh, I've, sp I've spoken about inflation already uh, in another video, but I will put some more information about what inflation and the, 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 the negative but also the positive impact of inflation.